And at this five o'clock hour, six people are in the hospital, two critically injured after a UC Santa Cruz bus crashed into a historic building at the campus last night. You see the scene out there. Good evening, and it's great to be with you tonight. We do start with that violent bus crash tonight. For the first time, we are hearing from a parent of a student who was on that bus. KION's Donya Romero leading us off tonight from Santa Cruz. A violent crash Tuesday night leaves five students and a UC Santa Cruz bus driver injured. A father of one of the students says his son suffered a head injury in the crash. I'm concerned about his long-term well-being and if this event's going to change his future in a bad way. Ken says his son is getting staples put in the back of his head as a result of the injury he suffered in the crash. Ken tells KION his son is 21 years old and was studying late for a final he had to take the next day. He doesn't remember even being on the bus. Anything about the accident or coming to the hospital. He told me the first thing he remembers is his friend being here at 3 a.m. This is what the scene looks like the next day. You can still see the tire marks of the bus before it crashed into one of the lime kilns building here on campus. We're not sure about the structural stability of that um, section. Uh, we're really fully focused on our campus community right now. The bus now sits behind the UC Santa Cruz Police Department. You can see the area where the driver would normally sit is caved in. UCSC says they're still investigating what led up to the crash. Parents like Ken want answers. I'm concerned about the maintenance upkeep of the buses and if it was driver error, mechanical error. It seemed to be a solo accident. Ken says he is thankful his son will be okay. Now the school is offering students and staff who are affected by this collision counseling and psychological services. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Daniel Romero, KION News Channel 46. All right, thank you, Donya. Now, police are telling us that four of the injured were taken to Dominican Hospital in Santa Cruz. Two others were taken to Valley Medical Center in Santa Clara with major injuries. We will continue to keep you updated on this story.